Welcome, everyone. This is episode uh, something of the Centerfold Podcast. I'm your host, per usual, Andre Ross Banneth. This is my co-host. Team Features. And welcome to the show. Are we going to tell them what just happened, man? I feel like we owe them an explanation of what just happened. This podcast episode may be a little short because we actually recorded an entire podcast before this and Adobe Audition destroyed our audio for absolutely no reason. So we had to re-record, and now the now, now we're staring at the at the audio waves as we're going to make sure it does not mess up. Nothing will ruin this episode. We will get an episode out to you guys. We have not missed an upload all January. That's true. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for watching us. Uh, make sure you guys keep watching the TikTok clips. I don't know which one I. I don't know which one. I, I think I enjoy when y'all DM us on. Instagram more than comments because that's like actual interaction with us. Like, we want to talk to you guys, so make sure you guys follow us on all of our platforms at Keem. Uh, no, no, at the Centerfold Podcast. That is the one that we use. So, hit us up there. We will, we will be starting a Discord when we hit 10k followers. 10k on what TikTok? Yeah, yeah, because we want to inter- interact with you guys. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we have a lot of things, things coming for you guys. Let's talk about oh, let's talk about video games. We had a whole conversation about BL2, bro. And BO3, but I guess I'll repeat it because I'm, I'm not even going to say it. BO3 is better than BO2, and it, and the only reason why people don't say that is because nostalgic t- takes over, bro. All right, so like you said, or no, wait, I'm, yes, yeah, you said it, but nobody heard it. But there is going to be a BO2 remaster, okay? And um, BO2 is better than BO3. I do like some aspects of BO3. It, it has much faster gameplay, which I understand because BO2 came out in an era where like shooters were like, you you you're just you're just on the ground, which I like better in my opinion, which is like which is which is why World War II is my favorite Call of Duty game, and um, I think that it's 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 just better simply by the fact that uh, I don't know. I think, bro. Like I said, bro. If you're gonna remaster BO, if you're gonna remaster BO2 and put it out, bro, add a jetpack to it. No, I'm t- <laughs> no, 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 look, bro, bro, no, no, it that, goes so bro, hard. That's how you distinguish the difference between BO2 and BO3, okay, bro? Don't put no goddamn jetpack in that thing, okay? What we need is, which is what a remaster is, same game, port it over, and then you maybe throw in a new COD map, maybe definitely probably change the all the gameplay mechanics, you know what I'm saying? So you can get like the slide in there, get the um, well. The, the super run, the BO2, the super run. What's yeah, you, you, you know, like in the in like the new call, the newer Call of Duty, you can like you can like double, you can double tap the stick forward and you start doing like that. Ah, nah, bro, I, I can't play, I can't what? play with that, bro. Why in BO2, there's no way. Why? Bro, I'm getting gunned, bro. If you're in BO2, you can quit, you can quick scope in BO2. Do you know how unstoppable it is if you can just go that fast, bro? With a with a sniper like the ballista, bro. Just just, just be better. I I've literally quick scoped in, in Modern Warfare. No, 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 no. In Vanguard. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Vanguard. Oh, in Vanguard? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, boy. What the... What the, what the <laughs> people will sit there and say, this is the, this is the worst time call... People people will love to say Call of Duty's never been this down bad. Like Ghost they, is still the worst game, in my opinion. So. Like, they didn't have a stretch of Ghost and then inf- <laughs> Infinite War. Yeah, there. like, come on, like, man. That whole, like, that whole stretch didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> I was really like, yo, what's Call of Duty got into right now, bro? <laughs> like, yeah, this yeah, is tripping, not the most down bad Call of no. Duty has been. It's definitely been way worse. It's definitely been, been way worse. Ghost is the game I remember the least. So, bro, the only thing I remember from Call of Duty, Duty Ghost is the Honey Badger, bro. I don't even know what that is. Bro, it was the best gun in the game, bro. That's it. The maps were... Eh. I don't remember the maps. It's just Ghost just like... Ghost was not fun. Vanguard is way too slow of a game, bro. Vanguard I mean, is slow and it's too easy because you can put 35 billion perks on your gun. That's too much. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Like bro, I be having, I be having to, and some, sometimes it don't add it up. So you got, you have, I have to do like math, bro. Yeah, seriously. On what perks and like what attachments I want on my gun. I came in to play Call of Duty. I am not trying to figure out MC Square, bro. It should be simple. It should be like give us like five perks, maybe, maybe five or four, four or five, something Wait, like that. Perks or attachments? Attachments. Oh, attachments. Perks right? are crazy, boy. Perks, that, that's I'm not, that's not what I meant. dead I mean, silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, meant, I meant attachments. Only put like put like four or five on a gun. Simple and easy. And so that way, you, you actually have to like, you actually have to like, you know, decide what you want on your gun, you know? So, so it's not like, I, I can put everything I want on. It should be like, oh, I got to pick and choose now. 
You know? I mean, yeah. I don't know why they, like, Vanguard, it just went too off the rails, bro. Like, I be, I can add so much stuff to my gun. It's like, it, it's too much. The, 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 the attachment system in Vanguard is not good. I, and now they were trying some, something out. It's a W for trying it out, at least. I mean, we know it doesn't work now. Like, I don't know. Yeah, all I know is that my MP40 in Vanguard go crazy because I That's got so saying. many goddamn attachments on that thing. <laughs> Bro, the MP40 and the well gun are the best guns in Vanguard. Well, my MP30 is st- MP40 is stupid. Why? Because you got all them attachments on it, bro. Oh yeah, six sixty bullets mm-hmm. in a clip. Oh yeah, that bitch. No, 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 no. Hundred round mag. You kidding me right now? I got that hundred round drum on that thing. Bro, it's just it, yeah. it, it's just too much. It's too much, bro. Mm-hmm. But nah, bo. But like, I'm t- telling you, bro. Bo two remastering bo two is just being lazy, bro. Because no. y'all don't want to make another game. No. They're, 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 I mean, it, it's just a holdover, right? It's just a little holdover, and people are gonna buy it and play it. I bet you will too. BOT I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you won't, you probably won't buy it, but you'll definitely play it at some point. No, because if you buy our game, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I only play old video games now, nowadays. I feel like I've made this statement for the last three podcasts in a row, and it's never made it in. I've made this last statement about about Batman, how it's the best, it's the best series of a game ever made. Okay, other than GTA and COD. Yeah. But it's, it's a top. The Arkham Knight series is a top five game series of all time, bro. Along with Bioshock. Come on, dog. I don't. I don't have anything to argue. So. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, eh. like no, not not like not, not not talking shooters, but just as a series in video game games, bro. To have that consistency of a game, bro. The consistency of a, a Batman, bro. Even though it definitely was copy and paste every single time. Uh huh. Still fun though. Different villains, <laughs> different missions. The Riddler. Yo, if you completed one hundred percent of Batman, bro, you had a perfect score. In your, does that person exist? Because, because, because I heard about them dang Riddler, the Riddler trophies, boy. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if you completed all the Riddler trophies in Batman, bro, you might score a perfect score in your SAT if you try it. <laughs> I am so serious. Because there were some Ugh. missions, bro, that you had to bounce a bat ring off like it was something crazy, bro. Yeah, couldn't be me. And you had to be able to get it around the map, press L T R T at the yeah. same same time, throw the controller, do a do a spin, bro. You <laughs> seen the, the controller? You seen the RTC video where they was like, do the how to do a fighting combo? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh the my god. Twice. All oh, that crap was yeah, too funny. Like I like puzzles and video games, but like also it's gonna take me. I'm dumb. I, I'm not gonna complete every single challenge. Bro, I might do some of them. Completing 100 percent of Batman is literally impossible, bro. Yeah, I mean, somebody's done it though. For I, sure. I think when you beat the game, you only beat like 30 percent of the game. <laughs> like when you actually complete the whole story mode, bro, you complete 30 percent of the game, bro. Speaking of Batman, real quick, if you don't mind. Ooh, isn't that coming out next month? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you, gonna, you when, when are you gonna see it? I, I'm, I'm gonna see it like day one. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. The way this new Batman movie is looking, it might be able to de- dethrone the Dark Knight. Y'all can get off his <clears throat> R.I.P. Heath Ledger, because you know we can't talk about we can't talk we can't talk about the Dark the Dark Knight. You know how that goes. I'm not gonna say nothing. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. But this new Batman movie has the potential to take down the Dark Knight. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Do you know how long it is? Two hours. Two hours and fifty five minutes. I think it's damn near three hours. Long. Oh, so it's just end game again. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why it's that long, but hey, I'm here for it. Who's the villain again? It's gonna be Riddler. Man, this movie sound weak. Who's gonna be fighting? What? Who's gonna be fighting? Well, the Riddler's in the movie. Penguin is in the movie. Oh, you find both of them? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. I can get down with it. And then, uh, of course, you got um, uh, yeah, you know, you know who she is. I. Why can't I remember her name? Yeah, well, you know who she is, Andre. Zoe Kravitz's yeah, character. Yeah, you What's know who she is. Um, I ain't telling you. Ca- Catwoman. <laughs> Stupid. Catwoman. <laughs> Zoe Kravitz is a great casting let's director t- for that, by t- the way. Let's talk about that Catwoman. Let me some Zoe Kravitz, you know what I'm saying? What's she doing against that, uh, Whitney? The, the, uh, the, uh... Halle Berry? Halle Berry. What's she? Who better? Who be- who, who, who a better Catwoman? Well, I mean, have you seen Halle Berry's Catwoman? I know. Halle Berry is a great actress. We all love Halle Berry. That's not what I'm talking about. That movie was not written well. It was not directed well. The the the, the budget wasn't spent on the right things. I mean, there's a there, there's literally a shot of a CGI building in that movie. Why is there a CGI building in that movie? You just just like take from an actual building. Dre, who's the better Catwoman? 
I haven't even seen Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. So how do you how do you want me to? Yes, you have. I haven't. Dre, who looks finer? <laughs> why, why are you playing that game, bro? Ooh, that's actually kind of close because Halle Berry is I'm real saying, fine still. Bro. Like she's fine. I'm not even Halle Berry Berry fan, but that yeah. Catwoman. I think any girl can get into a Catwoman woman shoot burn, and I'll instantly bat an eye at her. I see what you did there. That was a nice Batman pun. Mm, I didn't even yeah, see that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you got to see with that third eye. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's, yeah. that might, hey, people have been asking why you keep keep your hat so low. It's to hide that third eye. It's to hide that third eye. You know it's what I'm saying? You, 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 can't, you can't see that third eye. I can see into the future. Hey, how you feel, about, how you feel about, about how you feel about Moon Knight? How you feel about Moon Knight? Who? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> how do I feel about Moon Knight? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, right? I know absolutely nothing about him. I haven't read any comics with Moon Knight in them. In it. In it, it uh, whatever. But all I know is that he looks cool. He looks demonic. You saw yeah. when he was beating on that dude and then turned yeah. around. I'm not fighting Moon Knight. Yeah, I'm not touching Moon Knight either. I'm gonna be. Is he gonna be in a movie? In a movie? Probably. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know how this MCU stuff works. It's just, it, every TV show, every movie is just set up for something else. That's what it is. You I know? ain't gonna lie. The the TikTok accounts about Marvel, y'all be ruining the movie sometimes because like. So just don't watch. There's this one guy, bro, and I hate you, but I love you, bro. He be he be doing these dances and he put like a little screen above above it, bro, with like little tweets that be ruining the ruining the movie, bro. <laughs> Wait, he's one of those dudes that be dancing in front of tweets on TikTok. He just got partnered with C C hey. C C W. Hey, congratulations to him, but like, bro, come on. He man. be he be having the energy with it too, bro. That, that boy be dancing. And in then front because of I be I be so interested in the, in the dance, bro, and I be like, dang, I really just watched that leak. Did he at least make those tweets? Nah, he just screenshots them. <laughs> oh my god! He's an informer, bro. That is got it. I mean, he's like he's like equivalent of a plug channel. He's a plug. I mean, like that is just honestly, I, bro. Like I be I be finding out so many leaks, bro. It's like TikTok be like scary, bro. I'm not hating, but like that's just like that's like the lowest of the low on TikTok, in my opinion. Other than you know prawn talk, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like 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 dancing in front of like, tweets for views that other people tweet. Like come on. Come on, man. But me, I got I got way better at it. My TikTok is just booty. And yeah, I've accept, we know. I've accepted it though. <laughs> yeah, we know. Hey, if y'all want me to, if y'all want me to show y'all what, what my like no. stuff is, I'll put y'all on. Do you, do you what? What I got liked on TikTok, bro? It's just. It's just Are you talking about your your lights that are always on red? Your LEDs that are always on red? I'm telling you, my LED lights are never red. Ever? Why? I would never in my life make my LED lights red, bro. Red LED lights are overrated. What's your playlist on there looking like? What's my playlist? Do you want to know? No, I want to know the playlist. So, uh, obviously, I have some some nice Elton John going on. Why do you keep store, doing bro? this, bro? I got some hard oats going on. I said the playlist. Oh, the playlist? The playlist. Oh, okay. <clears throat> actually, you have a couple of Hall Notes songs on there, actually. Because, wait. No, wait. No, no, no. Wait. There, there, there's actually some certain Hall, hall Notes songs. The uh, playlist. You, you got to get, get some Boyz Men going on. You know what I'm talking about? You going to fuck the Boyz II Men? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You have sex the Boyz II Men? <laughs> You might be gay, bro. <laughs> Boys to men. Boys to men. Classic. What's the players looking like? I don't. What I you plan to get that girl in the girl in the mood? All right. So now let's talk about some, some, something else. Let's talk about some, something else. Now I will, now you heard it here, folks. I never hold back the podcast. It be him. That's all I'm gonna say. You be holding back. I don't even really have a playlist, so I don't. Do you, you want me to get my phone and look see if I have a playlist? The play- uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna see. You're gonna see my main playlist, and then you're gonna see some goddamn Disney ambiance playlist. That's what you're gonna see. I can't believe you submitted. To yeah. Disney what about it? I'm not ashamed. Uh, what video game you want to talk about, bro? <laughs> 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 okay, uh, Lego talk- Star Wars coming out in April. I'm very excited for it. They got a whole bunch of new features. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to 100% that one like I 100% in the complete saga. So that means I'm going to have two saga games completed, the complete saga and the Skywalker saga. And I'm very excited. And those games are goaded. 100%. I, I need a game to know life. There are no games out right now that makes me want to know life. I feel that way too, but I feel like when Star Wars comes out, that, that that's when I like really. Know life, or, yeah, I'm gonna know life the crap out of that. There's no game that's coming out that makes me just want to know life it and just like have no life and just be so good at it. Uh, if anything, comment comment a game down below that I need to know life and play. Yeah, this is like the first time in a while where like I'm not, like there are like three games I'm looking forward to, which is Lego Star Wars, and then that Harry Potter game coming out like when like I think I got delayed again, so whenever, and then. 
No, that's it. Those are the only games I'm excited for. There's not really anything else. And of course, they they got that new Destiny expansion. I'm gonna, that I'm gonna end up playing. So that's not that's not like different. Though. That's that, that's yeah. the same stuff. Like yeah, I like like how a game like that's what that's what really makes games good. Mm-hmm. They're so different. I don't. I feel like we haven't even reached the. I haven't even feel like we have. I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface of video games. Although that Harry Potter is gonna be an open world, which has never been done before. So that's see that'll be different. Yeah, that'll be different right there. Like when Naruto, like when Naruto Storm came out, different. Now, you, now Naruto Storm came out, Batman came out. Um, different game. I don't know. I, <laughs> Bioshock came out, bro. Yeah, there like, you go. I need like I know Bioshock changes the game. But GTA Bio- changed the game. There bro, you go. Bioshock is the top five game of all time, bro. I don't care. Like, That's fun. Um, bro, like, Bioshock is the only game I can play at 2 in the morning and not be scared. Unless you, now, if you're playing the second one, bro, that's terrifying. So why not just play the remastered? I, I have remastered. You can just game share it. Bro, stop trying to get me to play a bro, remastered just, bro, game. Bro, just play Bioshock remastered. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Play it. Have you played Infinite? No. Don't play Infinite. <laughs> okay. Bioshock Infinite is so weird. Here's a game I want you to know life, okay? Bioshock remaster, bro. Do it. Why? We, why, why do you refuse to play remaster? I don't refuse to play remaster, bro. I could just play the original, bro. I mean, Bioshock is so good. You, bro. I mean, I mean, you said you wanted something in no life, so just re, no life remaster. But I know what's gonna happen. Whatever, man. Whatever, I bro. I know what. Go- <laughs> Whatever, bro. I know I know what I know what's gonna happen, bro. Sixteen. Okay. Oh, but but I can't tell you this, this, this though. Y'all don't want to talk about it though. Naruto Storm is a top three fighting game of all time. All right. Bro. Anyway. All right. Um. Yeah. No. I don't. No. See, just, just, just raise you your have... hand if you play Naruto Storm. What the? F- is... Na- raise your hand. Everybody, everybody, raise your hand if you if you play Naruto Storm. That's what I thought. And ain't, ain't nobody played that jump, bro. Watch out. Go and I'm clipping that. Are we gonna Go see? Because my hands up with y'all. No. I promise you. See, uh, and the thing is, you 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 always you've always tried to get me to download some stupid Naruto. N- 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 what is what is this dude's name? Uh, not n- n- who cares? You've always been trying to get me to download that drunk. Talking about oh, bro, bro, just play me one time. I'm like, bro, first of all, I'm garbage at fighting games. Okay, bro. I'm not I, I'm not touching any injustice, any 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 um any uh Mortal Kombat. I'm garbage. So first of all, I'd get destroyed. Second of all, I'm not even interested in in what is this dude's name? Nar. N- Naruto, Naruto, I, I'm I'm not rocking with it. So so why so why would I play it? You know, man, just give it a chance. No. Bro. Ooh, have you seen the Bel Air series? The what? Bel Air. Oh no, I haven't. That. See, the thing about it is, bro, you have one half people be like, you know, it's not like the original is too serious. But then you have the other half of people who are like, oh no, nah, but we love, we need something new and different. That's the point, though. It's it's supposed to be a drama. Of the original, exactly. It's and, like, and Will Smith is is uh, is a is a uh, fucking producer. Or the fact that he is pushing this too, bro. Y'all should be looking at this like, okay, let's do this. Exactly. The only thing that's not hitting is Uncle Phil isn't fat. That 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 that, 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 one, that one's a fair critique. That's the yeah. only thing I have to say. Totally. Uncle Phil isn't fat, but like, it's supposed to be a dramatic story. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the same sentence I said I said last time, bro. Imagine. HBO Max does not care about what they put on their site, bro. What the fuck they put on that show, bro? Like, bro, like I said, imagine you being on HBO Max. All the scenes where Gwen was under the covers, covers gonna be gone. She finna wait, <laughs> wait. Are there titties in that show? And then, and uh, what? What are we talking about right now? And you, if it oh went to, oh yeah yeah yeah, I'm sorry. If you went to HBO Max, you would see everything. Yeah. If you think a Cobra Kai? If I, I want to know how dirty Cobra Kai would be if it went to HBO Max, boy, I, I, I dude, the, dude, the the violence on the show in the, in the goddamn tournament session would be crazy. You get me? I've never seen Cobra Kai, but I imagine that the violence isn't is pretty tame. But the only people that hit on Cobra Kai, bro, it's like it's too cheesy and corny, bro. It's like, what are y'all like? Oh my, I just hate I'm, when they I, I'm, I'm just not even. I, I like, you really, like, I don't really care for a Karate Kid. That's so. fine. That's fine. But yeah. the Karate Kid's like. I, I ain't gonna lie, boy. I I made a post about it. So I'm not gonna talk too much too much about it. But I just, I just want to say the Karate Kid is is just the original movie. I respect the original movie. I respect everybody that likes it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm it's whatever. What do you what do you now now this is what something we're talking about. Like there are no more good sitcoms anymore. Oh yeah. Uh, because everything's a reboot or a re- or a, re- a reboot or a, or the 
I don't know. What am I saying? I don't know, bro. You just it, it's either a spin. It, everything's a spinoff, right? How I Met Your Father. That junk. That that junk was doomed to start. I, I I mean I mean they've been trying to to get a How I Met Your Father show since since the original How I Met Your Mother ended in 2014. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's finally dropped. I haven't seen it yet. Why do you know that there's going to be garbage? Okay, like, come on, dog. Have you seen the trailer? No chemistry between anybody. Everybody's way. Too, every everybody's too fine. Okay. I, I mean, there, there's no ugly people on the show. Okay. That is an issue. Yeah. There is no diversity in mm-hmm. looks. When you watch, uh, see, that's 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 the thing. Sitcom, the com is missing, bro. Everyone looks too good in sitcoms, bro. Like, New Girl, top tier sitcom. You know why? Because you can tell the like Schmidt. He was the best looking person on that show, and so he was perceived to be. The one to get all the girls, mm-hmm. which he did, but he didn't get like the most and main important girl, Winston. Like it's it's all it's all, Bro, it's all in here. Hey, top three sitcom. Hey, top three sitcom of all time. New girls in there. You don't want my answers. Our answers are damn near the same. No, they're not. Top three. Would you if you have Modern Family in there, bro? I don't. I care. don't have Modern Family in there. You have that one show, uh, Charles uh, Angry Affections. Excuse me. Anger, anger man, anger management. No. What's your top three? You guys always sunny in there, I know. Always sunny. Okay. Okay. And then and then I want the office. Okay. <clears throat> and then number three is probably um It's close, you know. But I'm gonna give it to uh, Parks and Rec for now. And then three that that's three A, then three B would be New Girl, okay? And then, of course, Russian Development is top five because it's underrated. But there you go. Top top three sitcoms of all time, bro. New Girl, How I Met Your Mother, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Honorable honorable mention would have to be. I'm blanking on it. How I Met Your Mother is top five. Also, by the way, everybody. I feel like an honorable mention would be. Uh, hmm. My honorable mention is Modern Family. I feel like I I just, I just had it in my Big head. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. That's that's yeah. literally what I was thinking of. Big Bang Theory. That is Shout out Young movie. Sheldon. Just kidding. <laughs> Fuck that show. Bro, that's <laughs> <laughs> only the only people that watch Young Sheldon are fifty year old women. You think so? Yes. That that, that that's the demographic. It, 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 there's no young person watching Young Sheldon, bro. I promise. I did. I think I watched like two episodes, bro. And yeah. I was like, this is terrible. Yeah. Nobody nobody young this is watching is that. So bad. Nobody under the age of fifty is watching Young Sheldon. All I right, promise. Let's wrap this up. All right, everybody. That was episode Who's a What's It of the Stern Flow Podcast. I was your host, per usual, Andre Osmond. This was my co-host. Uh, Keem Features. Hold on, let me put let me put them on a drink drink real quick, bro. If you go to go to, I'm not telling y'all niggas. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs>